On the last video, we looked at this circuit here. We got one LED with current being limited primarily by the uh, photodiode. Actually, pretty much the photodiode is what's limiting the current. But we have a light-dependent resistor, also called a photoresistor, in series with a 1 kilo ohm resistor, which are uh, what's limiting the current for that LED. And so we're going to zoom back. We're going to do this kind of quick. The uh, last video didn't even do that well, at least so far. So I don't know how interested people are in. But the main thing is, you can see here that the light dependent resistor LED is getting brighter as I increase the voltage, even with the same light level. The light level is not changing. Whereas the photodiode stayed uh, the same brightness right there. So we know that current's going up rapidly for the light dependent resistor, which makes sense because its resistance changes with light. Now with photodiodes, they conduct better under brighter light but they tend to conduct a certain amount of current, not so much their resistance changing. So now to get a more accurate idea of what the current actually is, we got the multimeter probes here. We're going to measure the current. We have to open the circuit. So we're going to do the light dependent resistor one first right there. And you can see that uh, the LED lit up because now current is also going through the meter. These uh, uh, three components and the meter all have the same amount of current going through them which changed as the uh, light level changed. So in any case primarily we're interested in the uh, current and the voltage so we're going to focus on that. We got four right now and when we go up to 20 you can see each time I press the uh, button the voltage goes up uh, a fair amount about the same amount closely I should say for each push of the button and it uh, looks like we got about 8 milliamps of current almost spot on right there going through it at uh, 20 volts so the current rapidly went up as voltage rapidly went up so now we're going to do the same with the photodiode and remember the photodiode is a type of diode you use reverse bias so that's the shorter lead the cathode there longer lead the anode coming to the anode of the LED just as a reminder so now we're going to complete the uh, circuit again the same way right there I got alligator uh, clips here crimped to these jumpers and then I clipped the alligators to the uh, probes there and we got about uh, 1.21 milliamps of current right there when we are down to uh, 4 volts so it depends a little bit on the direction that it is pointing in relationship to the light it was a little bit lower now but in any case we're going to get probably about the same result so we got about uh, 4 volts and we go up so you can see that I'm rapidly raising the voltage current goes up but not much it's still pretty close to uh, one milliamp of current there I think it was 1.2 now it's about 1.5 and so we got five times the voltage across the total circuit and a current went up uh, I don't know like 20 percent or something so it's not an exact current but it holds uh, relatively steady when it comes to the light dependent resistor so, in any case, make sure you turn off the uh, multimeter. When you're done, we had it set to milliamps. And for this meter, everything but high current, the red probe, we can leave in one spot. Some of them, you have to move them. But in any case, uh, turn off the meter when you're done. Definitely get it off of measuring current, because if you try to measure a voltage, well, it's set to current, and you don't limit the current, like uh, this does, because I set it at 20 milliamps when I'm dealing with LEDs usually, then you'll put too much current through the meter and blow a fuse. So get it off measuring current and uh, turn it off uh, completely. And so in any case, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell. All that if you can donate, please do. That helps out the most. I have links down below, but I appreciate that you watched the video. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.